It's going to be hard to pinpoint the fact that you're messing around in the class. Mm -hmm. Because when you come in, you're doing your work. But if you come into the class doing what everybody else is doing, and then I, I understand what she's saying because that's what you do at home. You, I tell you to do something, you playing around, I say, Cameron, stop playing and do what you got to do. Cam, stop. All day and stop playing. So I can understand what he's saying. He ain't lying. You came into the class playing. When he redirect you, you decided to do your work. So, and then the, that goes back to what that goes playing. back to what she was saying. It could now you said he picking on you, but it could be a bunch of horse playing. Right. No, I'm not. Yeah, because you playing too. I'll, I'll, Name calling is a part of playing. Right. But, and if you're playing, that yeah. means you're engaged in what they got going on. Right. But now you're getting serious. And not yeah, yeah, you can't pick more. which side you, you but, can't pick which side of the play you want to be in. Name calling is not soon as I get in that class and say, oh, you had to go get your brother. That's not let, me, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you, right? And I told you this on the ride home from school. Ride home. Ride to school. You cannot stop somebody from talking. Good, that's okay. his mouth. And that's his mouth. If you walk into the class and he said that to you, you had two decisions. You could have ignored, went to your school, and did your work. And then if you bother me, teacher, I came into the class and did my work, you bothered me. Or he could have, you could have walked into the class and he said that, and you engaged. I him. I didn't. Yeah, but he don't. He, I don't feel that he should have to ignore somebody Mama. talking about him. But like I'm telling you, if but you going in playing, you. if you going in playing, you can't choose which, which part you you want to be a part of. I'm not telling him to ignore no, I, the person I talking him. about him. I'm I telling him trouble. that you let the teacher know. But you also can't control what people say out of their mouth. I can't come up here every day and be like, "Hey, man." This dude keep talking about my son. Can you tell him to shut up? I can't do that. That's his mouth. No, bullying has to be. Right. If he called him fat and said he had to go get his brother, that's bullying. That's just not somebody running their mouth. That's direct. That's words directed towards Cameron. That's bullying a student. When we talk about bullying for the district, they do have a zero but it's something that happens repeatedly. Yes, ma'am. So we have to establish the trend that this is happening all the time. But the one thing that we're going to have to, and I, I'll, I'll have an opportunity when I talk to them. Yes, ma'am. Is to figure out if they're engaging in this way all the time with each other. Yes, ma'am. Some days you don't want to be bothered, but the other person is still engaging because this is how we talk to each other. And so teaching the kids how to set those boundaries is what I like to do, but they can't. Play one day and the next day don't right. want to play. That's play one I'm day saying. and the next day don't want to play. That's and a lot I'm of saying. times when I get to the bottom of it, that's what happened. And that's why she came in and they were not. She in the asked and then, you. Were you free? Were y'all gaining a friendship or was it? What was it? No. Do you have a friendship with this no. student? No. So you never say anything to him. You always say something to you first. Yes. Okay. I, then today, when you told me the norm, I know them. I didn't see nothing back to them. So I wouldn't get in trouble when I just started, and I was doing my work. All right. So I'll get a chance to get to all of that um, when I speak with the guys together and we can come up with a, a, a solution or resolution. Um, most of the times we can fix this stuff. Yes, if it's yeah. something that we've seen that we get to where we think it's going to be an impasse and it's not going to be good for them to be in the same class. Um, then that would be the, the latest thing that we could do because sixth grade is jam-packed.